Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with my weekly recap, breakdown, and review of the latest episode, the final episode of season one, part one of Generation. This last episode, episode eight, was titled The Last Shall Be First and this was a really interesting finale or end of a part one chapter that we'll break down in the spoiler discussion. But before we dive into it, make sure you follow me on all my other social media accounts which you can find those links in the description below. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the community. Consider subscribing to the channel and while you all are at it make sure you hit that notification bell that way you can get the alert for when i drop new content it will mean a lot to me if you all can like and share this spoiler discussion for generation it means a lot to me but it also helps out the channel a lot and also in the comments let me know your thoughts on this last episode part one season one finale and also just give me your general take on this show are you a fan will you be back for more what were some of your pros and cons and let's just have a discussion about it in the comments which speaking of discussion i want to thank you all for tuning in every single week as i broke down these episodes this was a fun show we'll get to my pros we'll get to my cons but i just want to thank you all for tuning in every single week and of course i'll be back reviewing other shows coming to amazon hulu hbo you name it we have a great discussion on this channel so again Again, thank you all. So let's break down this eighth episode, which I just general take. I was pretty satisfied. There was the 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 Greta Riley that I want to be resolved a little bit more. Nathan and Chester, Sam and Chester. There was some things I wish were tied up. You know, Greta and her mom relationship that I assume if this gets a season two or a part two will continue those storylines. But I wish they would have found a way to involve those storylines. But I'm pretty satisfied by how things played out. But again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. So the episode opens up pretty interesting, right? Because as we, number one, we don't get the whole what's going on with Delilah and her baby, right? This is the first time all season where we just kind of go to a new opening, which is new and old at the same time because we open with Chester, which if you all remember episode one, we open with Delilah and the baby at the mall, but the very first character we kind of get introduced to is Chester as he's you know we know he got his uh suspension or got his you know tardy or whatever his detention from the prince for what he was wearing in episode one but that's the polar opposite of how we're introduced to Chester in episode eight as he's you know dressed completely differently he's not happy he's not excited he's not the Chester we've grown to know in these past seven episodes because obviously we know episode seven he got us heartbroken by Sam which again I wish this finale would have played a little bit more into that relationship as we'll get to the moment between Sam and Chester but again it's a completely different way to show us this different side of Chester not being accepted by someone that he had deep feelings for which is Sam but cut to Riley who wants to talk to him about what happened that transpired at the uh, the hotel of her and you know Greta and her hooking up with the other girl but you know we see Chester again he's not in the mood as he says I'm not really in the mood to play Mary Poppins which makes sense he's he's down and out at this point and we know he's kind of the go-to character that these people go to when they have their troubles but who does Chester go to when he has his troubles which speaking of Chester again he was giving me I don't know if you all watched the movie he's in uh, Justin Smith on Netflix called All the Bright Places but he was giving me a lot of those character vibes in this first half of the episode he wasn't himself right but as we learn he was suspended for four days for pulling the fire alarm at the hotel and then we're introduced to his new potential boyfriend in the second half or the season two as we meet Bo he has they have this moment about their you know Bo and how he flirts with guys and how he really doesn't you know know how to speak to guys and all that stuff they talk about Dungeons and Dragons and all this stuff but the best line in that whole uh, particular scene was I like when Bo says randomness can be hopeful that was a really cool quote for me it's just like a kind of something you find on like a you know a fortune cookie or something like that i really like that quote by Bo, and we'll see if we'll get more of Bo as we'll talk about the last scene of this episode but we see the kids in high school trying to get chester back to his old ways they do the whole take your shirt off for chester day and you know chester's eventually he, he gets happy he smiles he joins into the festivities they say take your other bodily parts out again that that it's hopeful. It's, it's really nice to see the kids in the show do that. I, I really hope that kids, Gen, Gen Z kids and kids even younger than them, I, I, I wish that's something that they do, right? When they see someone sad or down or out or they're not being themselves, they try to lift their spirits up. That, that's a nice sentiment. I, I like what the show is trying to do in regards to saying that the the younger generation isn't always about themselves or self endorsed So I, I like that moment for the kids trying to lift Chester up that I, I would hope to think that happens in the real world. 
But as we move forward, as I mentioned last week in regards to, okay, what is this show going to do with Nathan, right? And him and Ariana and Chester and Sam, will they bring that storyline back a little bit in regards to Nathan leaving this extremely long voicemail to Chester as he's pouring his heart out over this voicemail. He's using his magic to try to work his way into Chester's heart, but he really kind of drops the ball on that voicemail. But he does eventually kind of get into a good rhythm. He brings up the moment at the party when they first met. He brings up the L word. He says, I don't want to call it love. And then the voicemail hangs up. So it'll be interesting to see Again, if this is a part one, a part two, a season one, a season two, we'll see where Nathan and Chester's relationship will go because he did use the L word, ladies and gentlemen. But moving back to Delilah and the baby, we finally kind of catch up to the first episode to when we saw them last week in the truck. And that was a kind of a cool transition of how we got back to them and the baby and deciding on what to do with the baby. Cut to Chester coming out with a old baby seat of his as his grandmother never throws anything away and if we again I'm, I'll leave my predictions at the end but if we do get a part two of season two I would like to learn a little bit more about Chester and his grandmother and his mom that passed away but as I digress we see him say you know he says hi to Nathan Nathan finds out that he hasn't listened to the voicemail quite yet but Chester promises that he will listen to it later cut to Delilah going into her house and putting the placenta in the freezer getting some close valuable things that she wants to give to the baby which we'll talk about that here in a bit but as we kind of see Chester trying to calm down the baby, which seems like a Gen Z Gen, Gen Z thing to do, which is singing the Savage song to try to calm the baby down. I thought that was a pretty funny uh, moment there. Cut to Megan getting the video of Nathan uh, having a three-way kiss. She's obviously mad, upset. I wish we would have got a little bit more from that scene in regards to Nathan kind of spilling his heart out to his mom about who he is as a person, who he wants to be, but they kind of undercut that emotional scene with a little bit of a joke with Naomi saying we'll we'll follow up with you later mom it it was funny but I wish it was a little bit more impactful in that moment again I would imagine that's something that we can look forward to in future episodes we get a little bit of a quieter moment with Ariana which was she's the she's the butt of the joke right she tells all the jokes and shows but it was a nice little moment with her and Delilah talking about her backstory how she was an or or not an orphanist but she was adopted and how she came to be to come across her two dads I thought that was a really kind of quieter moment a really good character moment for Ariana who again is mostly known for her jokes but it kind of helps Delilah in her decision making of giving the baby up because you know she feels like she the baby can find someone else that's a little bit more suited to take care of a baby so I thought that was a really nice moment between those two characters and I'm not gonna lie as we kind of wrap up the episode I like how this this finale of sorts kind of focuses on this generation and how they handled this situation right they didn't do anything crazy they didn't leave the baby at a dumpster and you know (laughs) Isaiah's baby if you guys remember that film from Holly Berry but they they come to the decision right it's kids taking care of kids or in this case kids taking care of a baby and how they come to the decision how they have that quieter moment with the baby they all give something special to them to the child I thought that was a really kind of earned emotional moment um, again the show kind of does that throughout the season which I'll talk about here in a bit but I kind of like that moment by all the characters as they all say goodbye to the baby and they ultimately do give the baby to the fireman ends with the fireman being a hot joke by Ariana the jokes always come from that character and then seeing them all together man again Again, I have my favorite trio, you know, Chester, Greta, and uh, Riley, but seeing the crew together coming up with that decision, how the episode actually ends, really kind of felt earned to me, and I really like these characters at the end of the day. End of the episode, we see Riley wants to text Greta, I miss us, but she ultimately doesn't decide to do that. We see that Chester gets the text back from Bo, uh, alluding to them hanging out, and again, alluding to him maybe finding someone that uh, can appreciate him and someone that's actually his age versus Sam. We see him smiling. We see Nathan looking off at him and, and alluding to him wanting to be closer more than just friends, and that is the end of part one, season one of Generation. So overall, like I said, I thought this, there were missed opportunities, the Megan scene, you know, having a little bit of a moment of, of other characters, Greta and Riley and just some other, you know, Sam and Chester ultimately having the conversation, which again, I, I didn't even mention it, but we do see Sam does get a new, well, we don't see the guidance counselor, but we see that Sam is giving him a new guidance counselor, which I think is the right decision. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, we want to see Chester happy, but I think it's better for him to find someone his own age versus a teacher. So I wish there was a little bit more of the 
storylines with some of the stuff that was left on the on the on the table that I would imagine will play more into further parts of the further seasons but overall like I said seeing the crew together at the end making that decision uh, with helping Delilah and uh, Jay give the baby up to the fireman I thought that just seeing them together coming at that decision as a, a group of friends close friends at this point now was a really good way to end the season so as far as wrapping up my MVPs for the show it's number one is Riley she was my favorite character I thought the actress did a great job in the role and I'm excited to see what comes of that character in future episodes and then my number two it might be surprising you know I love Chester and all the other characters Nathan and and, and you know all of them but it's Anna for me guys Greta's auntie was so great I, I again I'm excited to see what happens with Greta and her mom but I thought that Anna was a fantastic character and my favorite episode of this season was episode five which was titled gazed and confused but overall like I said I thought this was a good finale an overall good show like I had mentioned on my very first review it gave me euphoria vibes is not as well rounded the performances aren't as strong the characters aren't as interesting the conversation being had isn't as um thought provoking as euphoria but still the show's his own show it's not trying to be euphoria it just has some euphoria vibes but i really appreciate this first part this first season of generation and i really thank you all for tuning in every single week so those are my thoughts on the finale my thoughts on the show again let me know what you all thought of this episode thought of the season and what you would like to see in future episodes let's discuss it in the comments again thank you all for tuning in every single week i will be back covering more of the falcon the winter soldier we got a lot of new shows coming on amazon that i'll be covering we also have a new show coming on uh, hbo pretty soon that i'll be talking about so definitely hit Hit that bell. That way you can get the alert for when I drop new content. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Make sure to like the review, share the review, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hope you're staying safe. We'll see you in the next video.